What is going on to my Libras out there? Let's get into it. Hold on. Matter of fact, let me turn the light off behind me and turn this one on. All right. How y'all doing? Um, so let's get into it. For you Libras. I got a lot of stuff going on in my house and, you know, I should say my apartment, not my house, but my apartment. Some uh, some some construction going on, you know, some things that need to be fixed up going on. So, you know, things are hectic. But for you Libras, you have the uh, seven of wands, right? You have the seven of wands, the magician. OK. The hermit. Sorry about that. Two of cups, the nine of swords. The uh, empress, which is. Libra, so you did show up in your own reading. Congratulations, of course, of course. The Queen of Cups, the Strength, the Ace of Cups, and last but not least, the Ace of Pentacles. All right. So, for you Libras, you have the Seven of Wands, the Magician, and the Hermit. Okay. And these cards ultimately are about how a lot of you basically, you basically, you're in a situation where the Seven of Wands, the Magician, and the Hermit. You want some form of breakthrough, not just with love, but with your life, okay? Um, finances, too. Some of you Libras may be going through some sort of hardships, aren't we all? This inflation out here, right? So um, the Magician, right, represents... it. The Magician represents or corresponds with the principle of um with the principle of uh of rhythm okay that's that's the magician the principle of of no excuse me of the mind and that everything ultimately is mental and that what's going on here is is that you will essentially you start to create the world that you want love finances based upon the things that you think and the actions that you take. You understand what I'm saying? So to break it down for you even further, and then you even have the hermit here, you even have the hermit to even show you even more of what it is that I'm saying is true, right? Because both both of these represent, both of these represent mercury. Both of these represent mercurial energies, which is the power of the mind, the, men, the mentality of it. And... Part of the reason why it is that you're not finding the one that you, the one that is a good fit for you, a good match for you, someone which you could love, be in love with. Part of it is your mind. Part of it is your mentality. It is. And there's proof because the two of cups and the nine of swords represent part of it is, is that in the past, people who really were on playing games wasted your time. And now a lot of you Libras are looking at it from a perspective of deep down, you're not worthy and you may never find love when that's obviously not necessarily true. That's not true. Anyone and everyone can find love, right? It's just a matter of meeting people who are decent and are these people, do, do you and these people share the same amount or the same kind of values? Do you and this person share the same kind of value is the question. So you just, in essence, you haven't really found anybody that shares the same values that you do, right? Now, this is why having a value system, aka character, is so good, is because having character, so many people get caught up with why can't they find somebody. The truth is, is that you, the truth is, whether it's you or any other zodiac sign, but we're talking about you Libras, the reason why it is that you Libras can't find anybody in a nutshell is because you haven't been able to find anyone that has the same value system that you do. Because when you, because when you know what games people play and when you have character, what that means is, is that, is that you, you are better equipped and able now to understand people's people's games that they play to know when you and a person has the same kind of um value system 
to know if the two of you have the same kind of a value system. And why that's important in the first place is having a value system is character. When you have character, you'll be able to check to see, right, people's games and you'll realize from the games that people play, right, that they do not have a value system that's the same of that's the same as your own. You understand what I'm saying? Other than the usual just get money, who cares? Who care, you know, just let's just get wealth. Physical wealth and money is supposed to be the cure-all, you know, the, the typical get money type of mantra that people talk so much about, right? And I'm talking about whoever it is. I'm not, you know, necessarily trying to get at anybody or throw subliminals. I'm talking about you know, I'm not even talking about throwing subliminals in that in that way or at all. I'm talking about the mentality, the whole get money mentality. So in essence, once you have character, you'll be able to see, oh, I can't rock with this person because this person is on some BS. This person, my value system and their value system is not that. My value system starts with spirituality, right? Understanding that I am more than just a human being. And that's the thing that a lot of you Libras need to understand. The reason why you're having a hard time finding somebody, two of cups, nine of swords, is because of this, the, the magician. Your mindset and your value system is, or value systems, right, are different than other people's value system. Now, if you're finding value with this reading, then it means it's time for you to come get a personal reading from me. Uh, there's a link in the comment section called the link tree, right? Click on it and it'll redirect you to um, the books that I have on Amazon, my Instagram page. Um, it'll it'll redirect you, right? If all it is that you need to do is click on it and it'll say clothing, private tarot reading, books, uh, uh, Amazon books. Those will link you to the books that I have on Amazon, my Instagram page, uh, um, my, my Teespring store, which is clothing. Anything from pants, shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs, sweaters, uh, to my private tarot readings. It'll redirect you to my website. If you don't necessarily want to pay uh, through my website, right, because it'll say buy now, right, when you scroll down, that, that makes it so that you pay through PayPal. If you don't want to pay through PayPal, then you can always um, contact me through my email, kareemspurworksyahoo.com. And there's a cash app, cash tag name, right? Cash, uh, dollar cash sign, Kareem Spare Works there. That's my personal cash app. And what you do from there is, is that you can either put in the, the money first and then send me an email, or you can email me first at Kareem Spare Works, yahoo.com. And then we'll work out a way for you to be able to pay me. Thank you. But the Empress, right? The Empress. The Queen of Cups and the strength now represents, and that's the situation that you that's that's the that's the the ingredient that you Libras need to have. Because I'm seeing here that a lot of you Libras are getting a lot of the things that you want as far as people coming to you, but you uh, you know, which is a usual thing because Libras, you know, Libras, you know, Libra is ruled by Venus. So, you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people like Libra. So, <laughs> you know, you know, Libras have options, you know, Libras have options. But the point that I'm trying to make here is that the, the Empress represents, um, e this is the thing that you're not getting, right? Well, this is the thing that you didn't understand from the past, because I'm trying to help you solve a problem. The problem was is that the Empress, you were getting a lot of the things that you were in the past, which is people coming to you, and you didn't necessarily know what exactly was going on. But what you knew was is you wouldn't be able to be in a relationship with these people for a very long time due to the fact that the relationship would normally end, right, fairly quickly. Or you would go from relationship, um, not relationship to relationship to relationship back to back. But I mean, you, you've been in a lot of relationships or you've been in more than the average person's uh, time that they usually spend being in a, in a relationship, right? So as a result of that, what happens is, is that the queen of, so what happens is, is that the queen of cups and the strength represents what it is that you were not looking at. You, 
the in see you with the empress right which represents you libras you had the inability because you were getting you you had options you had the inability due to you getting options your your inexperience right to be able to identify when someone had a value system that was similar to your own so what you should have been doing was is or what you should do now my dear leavers is from now on you have homework to do now on excuse me from now on you leavers need to to understand what your value system is okay and I, and i'm a and i'm gonna i'm work i'm actually you know going to you know, tell y'all about the value systems and stuff like this, right? Um, but, but, um, you know, tell y'all about the value system. But uh, at the same time, okay, at the same time, you need to you need to check to see if other people have the value system. There's no need for the tests because the because drama is going to happen. Uh, uh, naturally in the relationship. So the, so the uh, Ace of Cups represents, so this is the type of, of quality of people that used to approach you uh, in the past, the type of people that it would end up being a bad mix for you and that you, would, you wouldn't be in a relationship with people long-term because how could you? Because these people would be these people would have emotional irregulation they would be caught up in their emotions right they would be caught up in their ego right what they did they was doing it because they gangster and they are, you know they are gangster and they're able to get away with all of this cuz you know how people i don't know if people from where y'all from do this but a lot of people from new york whenever you know whenever it is that people want to do something grimy in new york not all the time, but they always try to refer to themselves as gangster. Yeah, I can be a hypocrite and do all this type of goofy stuff to you because, but you can't do that to me. You know why? Because I'm a gangster, and it's like, uh, uh, it's like, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah. You know, so, and and that's the situation. So the Ace of Cups is them trying to show you, them trying to tell you that you know, they like you and stuff like this, or them trying to imply that they like you, or they're hanging around you, they may not necessarily be blatant you, blatantly telling you that they like you, but the goofy stuff gotta comes after that. The game start. And the reason why is because you and this person, my dear Libras, don't have a, 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 a similar, um, hold on. Ma, they're here. Hold on. I, t I told y'all, I said there's some reconstruction going on in, in my apartment. But the point that I'm trying to make here is, right, the point that I'm trying to make here about that is um, how a lot of you, how a lot of you Libras need to find someone now because that's the trick. You have to find someone now that has a similar value system to you so you can actually get to the relationship dynamic that you want. I told you, it's very easy. The difficult part is, 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 is rummaging through or swimming through these goofy individuals that are delusional and all over the place and googly eyed and all over the place and all that nonsense. That's the difficult part. Because, you know, how extreme people are. But the Ace of Pentacles represents how, because a lot of you Libras may have something to, to offer. And obviously, it would be a shame if you Libras never even got a chance, that you never even got a chance to even show, to even contribute anything to a relationship or to contribute anything to anyone else, right? Because generosity actually gives you a dopamine boost, right? Generosity actually actually makes you happier, right? Science shows and proves. But, you know, obviously it would be whack if you didn't even have a chance. Hear it? But it would be whack if you didn't even have a chance to even be in a, uh, be in a situation 
where you even you even had a chance to even show somebody what it is that you were made of. So let's clarify the Empress. Let's clarify. Hold on. Let's clarify the Empress. So to clarify the Empress, we have the moon, the king of wands, the hermit again, and the world. Now we already have the hermit in this reading right here. And it's about the thing that you did not know that you thought that you knew. <laughs> um, the moon, right? The moon, the king of wands represents. Yeah. So, so cut off all of the people, get rid of all the people who don't have a sim, a similar value system to you, who, i.e. The, the, the game players, sometimes people don't necessarily have to be playing games, but their value system may not necessarily be similar to yours. And that's okay. What you can do is whenever it is that you find someone who may be decent, but may not necessarily have a value system that's similar to yours, you just don't, you know, you can just separate from them uh, respectfully. But then the hermit in the world now represents this being a situation for you where what it is that you do not know is, or the hermit, what you did not know that you thought you did was the world, meaning meaning that you have to, under, you have to uh, stand back and take a look at the bigger picture. That what you've got going on here is pay attention to the bigger picture overall. You Libras don't need to stop dating or feeling a certain kind of way. What you Libras need to do is date but know the differences between when someone has a value system that's similar to yours and when they don't. And and don't and you don't have to hang out with the people that do not want to be in a relationship who do not a relationship with you in particular, but in general, who do not have a similar value system. That's all. But that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. You're done. Um, trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of June. As of right now, I have 4,570 subscribers. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Hit the notification bell. Set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.